Welcome to Trauma Competency for the 21st Century. This is a certification course. It's uh, presented in, in 21 different modules and um, I'm excited to get to bring it to you. My name is, is Eric Gentry. I want to talk just a little bit about my bona fides and uh, introduce you, you to me and me to you. I've been doing this for a long time. I, I started um, in 1997 at Florida State where I was doing my doctoral work with Charles Figley and we started the, the Traumatology Institute at, at Florida State and um, won Continuing Education Curriculum of the Year that year in 1997 and um, trained a lot of uh, professionals from, from then until 2001. And then in 2001, we, it, Florida State decided they didn't want it anymore, so um, I took the took the Traumatology Institute to, um, to the University of South Florida in Tampa with Michael Rank, and we were the co-directors of that program. And, um, and it was called the International, Trauma, International Traumatology Institute. And we we're, were trained, uh, developed several n new and different programs there. And then in 2006, that uh, uh, University of South Florida decided they didn't want it anymore. And then in 2009, with um, w with a couple of other um, uh, counselors and psychologists in Sarasota, Florida, we started the International Association of Trauma Professionals. And um, and then in December of 2016, I moved here to Arizona to work with Bob and have. Um, uh, become the vice president of the Arizona Trauma Institute and Trauma Institute International. Arizona Trauma Institute is the training arm of our organization and the Trauma Institute International is the, the certification arm. I've been um, uh, published in, in many different journals. I've worked as an academic uh, for a little while. Um, have been uh, principal investigator on funded studies with traumatic stress. So I've got all those bona fides. That the, but the thing that qualifies me the most to sit here in front of you and to, to present this course is I've survived 35 years of clinical practice. And that's the way that this course is presented. It, 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 is, it is from a clinician to people that are sitting across from trauma survivors. And as we go through this course, you're going to find that, that I have, I think that there's a right at 400 citations. Um, for this for this course, uh, it's it's well uh, have been deep in the literature, have uh, plumbed uh, the science of the treatment of traumatic stress pretty thoroughly. But if I have a gift, and and what this course is kind of about is taking all of that evidence-based practice, taking all that science-based practice, and turning it into what what do you do when you're sitting across from somebody who is in so much pain they want to die. How do, you, how do you practice evidence-based treatment when somebody is talking to you about that you know, they, they are not safe, that they are thinking thoughts of suicide? And um, so, so that's what this course is about. And it is a, it's a march through the treatment trajectory of treating traumatic stress, and, and we're going to go soup to nuts. We're going to underpin it. The first part of this this course is underpinning it with some concepts and some understanding, and then it just becomes a clinical course. It's about kind of how to manage stepwise the the, the treatment trajectory of somebody that has post traumatic stress to accelerate that and to to make that um, as expedient and um, painless and relational as possible. Um, you know, this is the first time in the history of the diagnosis of PTSD that I can, I can sit here in front of this camera, usually I'm in front of an audience, but I, I can say it to you watching this at home right now, that the, the successful resolution of traumatic stress is simple. Simple. It's never going to be easy. It's always going to be some of the most arduous clinical work you can undertake. Any of you have been doing this work for, for more than 10 years, you've understood that, that you cannot survive treating folks who are trauma survivors at the same level of professional and spiritual and personal resilience maturation that you were launched from your graduate training programs with. You've had to evolve, you've had to grow, you've had to become more, a more resilient practitioner just to tolerate sitting across from folks who, are, who have been hurt badly by, by the environment and by their lives. Um, it's not it's not easy, but but it is simple. 
And, and I'm going to show you as a result of what we're going to do here in this, some of the early part of this, this training, I'm going to show you how when you complete three, three and a half, sort of, four, three, uh, complete three therapeutic tasks using four different things to do to, to complete those tasks. When you complete three therapeutic tasks, your clients no longer meet diagnostic criteria for PTSD. So if you, you only have to accomplish three things, that's pretty simple and straightforward. And you know, as we move further into the 21st century, more and more and more evidence is building that, that the better that we stay on the track of, of completing those three tasks, the, the better quality of outcomes from our treatment. Um, this course is, is the ability to use and, and to, become, to become graceful and elegant and, and competent and moving towards mastery and excellence using cognitive behavioral therapy for the treatment of PTSD. But what you're going to find, the application of cognitive behavioral therapy is that it's going to be cognitive behavioral therapy with a heart and a soul. It's going to be cognitive behavioral therapy that is, is deeply entrenched and ensconced and nested in a relational process. So, you know, the, one of the reasons why I love doing this training, and I still continue to travel around the country and do it, is that I get, I don't know, 20% of the folks that take this course. I get emails from them telling me that this course has not only transformed their clinical practice, it's transformed their lives. And that's pretty heady. I'm a junkie for transformation. That's why I work with trauma. Those of you who've been doing this work for a while, you know that when you're working with trauma survivors, you are working with the people who are the ripest for transformation. And when you do trauma therapy right, that's one of the things you get to, to bear witness to is people's lives transforming. And, and that's, that's what makes all this work worth it for me. And for those of you who are interested in, in being more graceful, more efficient instruments of transformation in the lives of your clients, then, then you are watching the right screen right now. But for those of you that don't give hell of beans about being instruments of transformation and you just want some ways to be able to treat your clients more effectively and to make your work less painful, then you're also watching the right screen. Um, hopefully, if I do this with any, any sense of elegance, we're going to be able to stand in both of those two camps of where the, it is the acquisition of skills to be able to be good um, technically working with trauma survivors, but it's also going to be the professional maturation of a, of a trauma clinician. So both of those are going to hopefully get married in this course. Um, just other couple of preamble things that I'd like to do. Um, I would invite you right now to, uh, you have a, uh, a package, a, a handbook for this course, and it has a syllabus and it walks through all of the, the learning goals and all of the certification criteria for those of you that want to move this on to certification. Um, and it goes into each of the certification criteria and how we have drawn from American Psychological Association's um, guidelines for, for training and treatment of traumatic stress, for, for the treatment of traumatic stress and how to train clinicians to become um, competent practitioners and it shows how we have met all of those guidelines for the APA and, and it walks you through the citations for each of the um, uh, each of the modules of the certification criteria that we're going to walk through and that, that's the way that this course is divided is that there are going to be a multiple uh, more than 20 somewhere probably between 20 and 25 different modules of this course that you'll be able to click on and watch the video for that piece and then muse on that and chew on that for a little while and read the materials that come with it and watch the slides if you want to and then go on to the next module. One of the things that that, that I want to say um, and I'm going to speak on behalf of, of my partner Bob Roten is you know this is a business we are, this is our business. This is how we pay our bills. But I am pleased and honored to be partnered with somebody who is kindred in, in spirit with me, that this is, this is our mission. 
This is our covenant. This is why we are on, the, on this planet, is that we help people that help people who are suffering and traumatized. And toward that end, I want you to know that all, you have access to all these materials and you are invited to use those materials academically, clinically, professionally, commercially. I'm just going to ask that you cite me, cite us in the use of those materials. Um, that's all we ask of you. It is copyrighted, but you have our permission to use that. Um, in addition, for the rest of your lives and as long as I'm alive, you have a resource in me. If ever I can be of service to you in the performance of your mission, of being of service to people who are suffering or traumatized, it would be my privilege to do that. And as I say in my training, I invite you to test and see whether or not my feet match up with where my lips are flapping right now. And you will find me responsive to your request. It's what I do. So um, I think that's all I want to say for, for preamble. Um, let's go ahead and get started.